gonna be fun. It's gonna be interesting. I mean, I think whoever makes a mistake is gonna lose. It's gonna be a tight game. Everything matters. First one to crack is gonna be yeah. probably. Actually, you made them crack pretty well last year in the season opener. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. Ex yeah, I'm excited. I mean, they're a tough team, and so I can't really look past anything. Um, I just gotta rely on my defense to have my back and my offense to score me some runs. As for Kaylee too, when she's pitching. <laughs> Casey, have you given any thought to how, how dear the end is for you here? Yeah, I'm old. <laughs> Faced it. Um, <laughs> this is this is our last uh, two games, three games at Jamie Moore, no matter what this season. And we're looking to go out like we did last year, you know, with wins. Um, we want to extend our season. And we had a good week of practice to prepare. And we know it's going to be a really competitive game. When you look at this season and the, some of the ups and downs of the season, yet you're really almost exactly at the same spot record-wise where you were last season. Has that been that maybe even more gratifying considering what you've had to overcome? I mean – we see the season as we have struggled, but last weekend was the best we've ever played. And that's, you know, the team at the end who's the hottest wins. Uh, we know that we're one of the best teams out there and that we stand a really good shot at winning. Um, we just have to play our game. And, you know, we see the stands going up in the outfield and we know it's going to be packed. Um, and we just got to trust ourselves and have fun and enjoy the moment. Carly, when it comes to Paige, It is, it is difficult. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is, but at the same time, I mean, I've got Asario. We can thank Asario for kind of getting us ready. It's not Asario. like this is the first time that you know we've seen someone with some good movement. Um, and it's we're just blessed to be in the SEC where you're gonna see super regional pitching every weekend. Um, so I think while she is excellent at what she does. It's not the first time that we've seen a good rise ball. So, I mean, really the ball's in our court to do with it what we want. I mean, and it's just all about if we're going to execute our plan or not. I think it goes to is we have to learn from each at bat. And so um, she throws just like she said, Barnhill and Osorio are the greatest rise ball pitchers in the SEC. And most of us have seen Lowry from last year with Mizzou and this year um, and Mexico and the whole goal is to be able if we get called on it once then we have to learn from that at bat from that pitch saying okay it started higher than I expected it ended where I didn't want it to um, so it's about making adjustments but obviously I mean, they got almost their whole same thing back uh, all of y'all played, played against them now four times what impact does that have on the game two teams that know each other as well as that think it'll show you how much we have to compete and how much you know the pitchers have had to work really hard to hit their spots um, because honestly if you make a mistake this weekend it's it's going to show and it's going to be a big one um, last year we got burned quite a bit on the short game and I can tell you we have worked our tails off working on the short game and working on hitting runs uh, defending it and how we're going to approach that I think this entire postseason is unfinished business. It's got really not a whole lot to do with them personally. It's just it's postseason period. We didn't finish the way that we wanted to last year, and, you know, that made us mad. I'm, I'm still mad about it to this day. You know, that's I told um, some people earlier that that still stings for me. It'll sting for the rest of my life until we get the job done. So I just think it's it's not really them. It's just postseason period. Okay, lady. I mean, me and Kaylee were actually talking about that because she has so much success against Florida, and I don't, but I have a lot of success with Oklahoma, and I don't know why that is. I mean, I could say it's because they swing on top of the ball and I'm a drop ball pitcher, or I just go in there with a confident mindset and I do my job.
coaching standpoint, what impact does it have to, to be so familiar with each other as these two teams are? Well, I mean, with media the way it is, and some of the games on television, you know, you're very familiar with whoever you're going to play because you get to see them so many times. I mean, like we were talking about before, I mean, Patty's and, and my relationship go back to when we were junior college coaches, and, and you know, Missy. things that, you know, when the bell rings, we're, we're going to go out and try and beat each other. We were asking you the other day, and I meant to kind of follow up with this, I don't think anyone in the country has the fascination to do with the ground balls. Like, okay, like, you go down, you know what I'm talking about, turn off, don't play, all that. What leads you to do that? What makes you want to do that when everybody else is so attached to the prize balls that you just want? Downward moving the ground ball. Well, because we have a girl like Michaela who's, you know, I mean, there's not been a whole lot of great down ball pitchers. You know. uh, Snelden, Seldon from UCLA <coughs> you know, was, a, was a great one in the Pac-12. And uh, now we have Michaela in the, in the SEC. And, you know, you take what's out there and, and you work your defense around that. I mean, you look at the, the number of ground balls that we try and get to, and, again, that's because we have such great faith in our defense. What are you shooting for, Mac? 15, 18 ground balls a game? Something like that. On the low end. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, that, that's because if they're hitting it on the ground, we get a chance. I mean, we're close to 50 double plays. Um, you know, we're leading the, the, the country in that by a lot. But it's, it's the emphasis that we put on it. I mean, it's just, um, you know, just how we go about, you know, looking at what best suits us. And you're going to keep looking for, like, I, I would say sinker, but drop ball pitchers? Uh, we're looking for pitchers that are going to win, pitchers that are going to go in a circle and, and compete like uh, Mac and Kaylee. You know, they compete. They, you know, they hate to lose. So, I mean, those are the people you want in the circle, you know, trying to get outs for you. I think I think uh, the, the reason we got the strikeouts was because of the counts that she was pitching in, and there's certain there's certain things we do to based on count, uh, trying to work ahead. And if you know if we want to throw the rise ball out of the out of the zone for either pitcher and they want to swing at it, and, and we'll take that strikeout. But it, you know when you're calling pitches, you're usually two three pitches ahead, and you use this one pitch to set up the other pitches. And, and when she was doing the strikeouts, so she had the rise ball really, really hopping for her. And, uh, you know, I mean, her, I, I believe her mentality is the same. It's just that, you know, during periods of time when they're chasing pitches, you know, we're not complaining. Jason, uh, I guess any athlete in this sport, being able to perform when the pressure is, is the highest is, is what, what makes them people great. Got to be among the hardest things to do. From your standpoint, how is it different when, when it's this is it, this is a game day? Um, you probably ask most of the girls on our team, and we live for the pressure moments. Uh, it's the moments we'll always remember. Um, you know, I think about Oklahoma last year. I think about Carly and Casey going back to back against State. Um, I think it's a mindset. And you have to have so much confidence going in the box. If I'm 0 for 3 going up to the plate and tying runs on third base, my job's to get them in. And I'm hyped because that's the only hit I need the entire game for it to matter. Um, so it doesn't matter what the previous at bats mean. You know, we always say the last at bats are most important. And that's usually when all the pressure comes on. Um, so we live for those moments because that's the one at bat that really counts. And we have so much confidence in ourselves to get the job done because most of the time we just need a ground ball. And when you're trying to hit a ground ball, you hit a line drive. So works for us. From a pitcher standpoint, Michael, same question. Um, I mean, I like the pressure. I mean, 
going back to like the Alabama game where our bases were loaded and I had um, a full count. Um, I honestly wasn't going to get go out of that inning having them score anything. Um, I mean, I've been in those situations a lot where obviously the game is on the line and I live for those moments because I feel like that's when I do my best. Carly, you didn't enjoy that 3-2 count that much. Well, considering the fact that I was... She was calling pitches. I was calling pitches. It was on me regardless of... Um, yeah, no. It was, I was calling pitches. Hunter gave it to me and let me call it. And I was like, all right, man, let's go. Um, yeah, it was stressful. <laughs> the different kind of pressure when you're the one calling pitches. Especially when she calls one and I shake it off. And I was then like, all right. That was the one I shook her out Don't on, you. so... <laughs> Yeah, as long as we're working together, it's all right. Just, would you just talk about the same thing, about performing under pressure? I think it's not – for me, it's not as – and I can probably speak for anyone on our team. It's really not that big of a deal just because we're under pressure constantly at practice. There's times when coach will try to get in my head, and I'm like, you're such a jerk. But it's for a reason. It's for these moments out here. I don't have to agree. You know, sometimes he's on me, constantly on me, being that little voice in my head you know, trying to simulate what's going to happen in a game. And that's why I think that we've been successful and that's why I've been successful from, you know, when I was 18 years old in here, you know, playing um, and being able to do those things as a freshman was because of how he trained me. Um, and I think that it's the way that we're all wired because he makes us that way. That's what he wants out of his players. And, you know, if you can't handle it, then you're probably not going to be out there.